Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 15th through the 21st. And I'll take a look into your, hold on. Recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll uh, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. A hummingbird came by as I started this reading, and Kai went right to it through the window, basically. And the hummingbird was kind of checking him out which was really cool. I didn't, I, I didn't see them do that before. She was like, and she was like in front of him. She or he, I don't know. But it was really cool. Um, but let's see. Gappy, gappy, gappy. Da, let's see what's going on for Kathy. <clears throat> what is going on? Uh, the overall energy for the reading, the Nine of Cups. This is that emotional balance, that whole sense of, okay, everything's fine, everything's cool, we got this kind of a thing. Um, and I feel like it's needed, or I feel like you're trying to push for this energy at this time. Um, in the recent past, the Four of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, this comes to me more like a regretful kind of a... It's one of those I should have. Um, but it's not a wasted opportunity kind of a thing. So it's it's coming in as um, maybe I didn't do that one time when I felt I should go for it, but I'm still kind of doing it. So I'm kind of picking it up slowly, but surely it's just a, a, a little bit of a sense of a missed opportunity. Like I should have gone with it like two days before, not now kind of a thing. Um, a little bit of regret behind that. But again, the action is still there. It kind of seems delayed on your part. And because of that, there's a little bit of regret. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. In the current situation, the temperance card, the three of swords, the five of wands. There is this energy of the temperance that comes in with patience, like take it easy, take it slow. Um, but there's also a little bit of conflict or inner conflict. Um, more than likely there's there's this almost like fighting against the energy that's available and the energy that's available is like chill take it easy one day at a time kind of a thing and then kind of pushing against this energy makes things a little icky a little rough by the looks of it but there's definitely a, a conflict here between possibly your actions and the energy available um, in the immediate future, the Eight of Swords, the Fool, the Five of Swords. Interesting, because it's all kind of tying up to that, that missed opportunity kind of an energy there. You know, um, there's again that sense of I want to go, I want to do, I want to... Mm, 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 and then kind of like overthinking things and stressing about things. and um, But it's all tying up to that, because I get a sense that this probably is rooted within you, a sense of what if I miss my opportunity? And based on that, your actions here are looking a little pushed at times, a little too much, just so that you don't miss the opportunity, you know, kind of a thing, which in the end, it's kind of seeming a little bit deceptive, a little bit self-sabotaging, because if there was one time where maybe you think you missed an opportunity, which again, I don't see you doing it, but maybe you took it that way, um, that probably stayed with you and within actions that are important to you at this time, you may be rushing it a little bit so that you don't miss that opportunity, which again, it, it, from where I'm sitting, it doesn't look like a missed opportunity. In your interpretation of it, it may look like that, it may feel like that. And because of that, you created this kind of anxiousness around it, like, let me not miss it, which, you know, it's not the case, you won't. Especially right now when the energies are kind of requiring you for, for, are kind of requiring for things to be a little more tempered, a little more calm, instead of just let me go, 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 you know, kind of a thing. So I don't know what's going on here. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the nine of cups.
Page of Cups, Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. You're in a process of basically gaining your independence, stepping into your power in that sense. Um, and this reading kind of comes in as a reminder for you as a be gentle in this process, because you may forget that aspect of emotional balance a lot of the times. And that's pretty much all you need through this. You know, there's that sense of I got to push through, I got to do this, I got to do that. And that creates more of an anxiety to the situation, more of a um, kind of forgetting about um, your heart in all of this, you know, be a little more gentle and be a little more present with how you feel too, you know, through this process. Um, I mean, I get the end goal here and it's looking nice, it's looking pretty. But like, not at the cost of neglecting your heart, your emotions, you know? Um, bum, 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 bum. Let, me, let me go to that Four of Cups there in the recent past. Oh God, what you playing with? A wand? Queen of Swords, the Magician, the Six of Pentacles. You've been at this game for quite a while where you were trying to manifest a sense of stability for yourself uh, for quite a while. Um, it's just the way you kind of perceived this whole thing when this whole manifestation started for you was from a place of logic, a lot of logic involved here, which, okay, you can only go so far from that place of practicality, of logic. You need to mix a little bit of a boost of your heart, of your emotions, of what feels right for you as well. Not only what you think is right, right? So, so probably I'm guessing the sense of disappointment here is more tied up within self, within I didn't see that at the time, I didn't know that at the time, I, you know, I failed kind of a thing. You may have taken it as a failure, which is not a failure. Again, it's a lesson learned kind of a thing. You know, no, nothing is failed, nothing is lost here. If anything, a lot of things are gained. Because um, again, I see this energy being applied later on at a slower pace, but kind of picking it up. Like, okay, you know, okay, I'm doing this. It's not working out necessarily great. So let me do it in a different way kind of a thing. But you know. Us humans translate it as wasted time, wasted opportunity, wasted something. Nothing is wasted. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles in the recent past. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Again, if anything, this wasn't wasted. This was just a lesson learned towards the path of happiness and stability. Because that's where you started to go towards. And it's coming in with pentacles and it's coming in with hearts, with cups, right? So it's that whole combination of, okay, practicality, but let me throw in that heart of mine to see if it feels right too. So that's where you're heading slower because, you know, you needed to stop along the way to learn a valuable lesson there on how to do that. But it's still, you're still going there, you know? You're still heading towards that place. And I feel like you're still in the middle of it, you know? But um, this, if anything, had the opportunity to one, teach you a lesson, or two, um, create some sort of um, obstructive view towards where you were going, or a fear even, to, to kind of delay things or to just make them harder than they needed to be. But uh, let's see the temperance card in the current situation. Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Six of Cups. Interesting. <clears throat> you may be in a little bit of a pickle here. Because um, I feel like you're, you're, you've been trying to figure out what the best outcome would be for you and for there's another situation here involved, which I don't know what it is, if it's a person, if it's a job situation, if it's something you're dealing with in terms of another, another energy. It feels like it's one that's resonating with you. But there's a little bit of a conflict in between you and this other energy. And I feel like you've been in this place of I don't know what to do about it for quite a while. Um, let's see the Three of Swords. Four of 
Four of Cups, the Hierophant, the King of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, it's time for the heart to come out a little more. It's time for you to allow for your heart to come out a little more. Because this is definitely tied up to this past energy of let me manifest from a place that makes sense. And um, if you go with what makes sense only in this situation, this conflict is probably going to stick around for a while. Um, that's why it's kind of like all of this is kind of appealing to your heart or trying to get your heart to come out a little more in this situation so that... The heart, what it does, it kind of keeps you in the present. In the present, you have no future of what could possibly happen here. You have no past of what the hell happened in the past here. You just are with what is. Um, yeah, I know. So that's why the... Um, I see it more like a, a reminder, a, a tap on the shoulder. Hey, Cappy, bring out the heart a little more. You know, be here with this a little more. Um, don't take it in the mind and leave it there because it's going to be left in this five of wands energy, which is, again, a little bit of a conflict, a little bit of, I don't know what to do about this. You know, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried, uh, nothing works. Um, where it kind of keeps you and this other energy you're dealing with a little disconnected, a little not right. It doesn't feel right to you, at least. Let's do the five of wands. Ah, noisy cat, yes. I don't even know what you're noising about. For the Five of Wands, you get the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Justice card. Yeah, you just want to bring balance in this situation. You know, you want to make things right. But again, still coming at it from a place of the mind. And the mind brings up fears, brings up old patterns, the way we used to do things, the way we manifested things in the past, the way we kind of hang on to it. it has to be logical it has to you know go accordingly to a plan um that's your intention here Juno just decided to walk on a wheel a little bit and now she's kind of playing with Kai so I don't know what the hell is going on there in that corner of the room um Your heart is present, you're just not letting it out. It needs to come out a little more for the situation, you know, to help you out in the situation. As long as you let the mind take over, it's going to kind of keep the energy constant and steady in this disconnection for you and this other energy. Um, <clears throat> let me do the Eight of Swords in the immediate future. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords. Okay, okay, I get it. It's a painful path to go back into, okay, I gotta open up my heart again. But I see your intention to, to do that. I see you wanting to do that. Because as I said, in the past year, you started on a path that belongs to the heart and to the mind. So you, you're definitely heading there in that direction. It's just a bump, bumpy road. Um, along the way, sometimes it's, you know, it's going to go up and down and all sorts of things. But your intention, even coming from the mind, is okay, okay, I got to tap into that heart of mine a little more. You're showing me that's a painful place. You know, probably that's why you're not accessing it as much. Um, but you still want to go in that direction. You, you, you know, for, for this to change, for this energy to change, you kind of have to. <clears throat> Let's do the full in the um, immediate future. The tower, the seven of cups, the eight of cups. <sighs> Cappy, 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 what do we do with you? Um, we gotta bring that heart out. Because the more you stay out of it and in your mind, the more you're kind of allowing for fear and security, whatever runs the mind, right, to, to, to take over, basically. And then I see opportunities and I see you looking at them and I see you being like, nah, I'm going to pass, not worth it. You know, who the hell knows what's going to happen? No, I'm not going to go with this. I'm not going to, no, no, thank you. And then you're showing me at the end of it, an emotional disconnect. And yeah, I know it's there. Because if the heart were, were here to keep things in balance, this energy wouldn't be here of 
you feel something, you feel like you really want to do something, and then you bail on that. It's like you're bailing on yourself. Let's do the Five of Swords in the immediate future. Knight of Cups, Nine of Wands, Four of Swords. You're trying to heal that. You're trying to heal in that aspect because I feel like you neglected that side of you for a very long time. And you don't even necessarily know it because I see you saying all the time, no, I haven't, I feel, I love, I love. Wow, look at me, it's so great. Um, okay, saying it, feeling it, two very different things, you know. Um, you need to bring that heart up in here a little more. And you are... Again, I see you, I see steps towards, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm going there. Um, this energy of, no, I'm actually in my heart a lot, and you know, all of that is showing up. Um, it is showing up, tied up to the Five of Swords, which that to me is a deceptive kind of an energy. But we all do that, right, where we think, no, we're open, we're fully open. And then if we were to really tap into our heart, it would be like, oh, shit. What just happened, you know? So keep trying, go in that direction. Uh, Cause I see you really urged even by the mind to go there, to tap into that a little more. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Um, and, and be patient, be gentle. It's under here. Your heart, your emotions, your emotional balance is all under here. I see it here. So it is available. It's just a matter of tapping into it. Because um, right now you're anchored into the mind a lot. All right. From the universe, you get the Page of Swords, the Empress, the Knight of Cups. You might get some help. I don't know who this is to you. It could even be your, your guides, if anything. It doesn't have to be a person. I see another energy coming to help you out in this department and slowly but surely it's kind of working it's kind of like pushing you in that direction or nudging you towards because they're they're coming in with love lots of love and it's like oh okay and it's kind of a helpful energy here for you again no idea who this is um i don't even know if you know who this is or what this is it doesn't have to be a person necessarily but it's definitely an energy full of love that's coming into your aid, basically. So that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.